G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. Oh, what's up warriors how are you all so today's topic how building a routine changed my brain surgery recovery uh so i just want to have a big shout out to mikey from the uh warrior community for coming up with this video topic he uh, wrote in the comments of one of my earlier videos he wanted to discuss routine and how it affected uh my recovery so here we go the three things we're going to talk about in today's video are starting small the second thing is consistency will always trump perfection. And the third thing is design a routine to match your goals and also your new way of life and your new fatigue levels. Alrighty guys, let's rip into to point number one. So starting small. Look, to be honest with you, I can be so incredibly guilty of this one. Um, I, For those of you who don't know, I'm a personal trainer. So my background is, is training people every day but also training myself every day and when I am on the roller coaster of feeling good and feeling bad if I'm at the top of the roller coaster I'm feeling good I I will think oh I'm back to my old ways and I'll, I'll head out there and try and uh, train five to six days a week and then as you guys know our fatigue levels as brain tumor warriors is way 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 higher than it used to be and yeah, like I'll train five days in a row and then I'll burn out and have like two weeks on the couch and it, it, it's quite counterintuitive. So my point is start small. Um, don't get frustrated. You may want to get back to how you used to be, but for now you are someone who is in recovery from brain trauma. Your brain surgeon cut into your brain with a scalpel and removed brain tissue and has completely affected your body, your nervous system. And we are now a lot more fatigued. It's like taking a, a whole heap of petrol out of a car. So start small. Instead of wanting to train five, six days a week, train once a week, train twice a week. Or if you wanna if you wanna move most days, train less for less time, less length of time. So instead of doing an hour and a half, just do half an hour. Just have a stretch, go for a walk, do a bit of yoga, do something different. Don't put massive pressure on yourself to um, you know, get stuck in and be the, the person you used to be. That can be a long-term goal, but for now, when you are severely fatigued, and I feel like I should be talking to myself and looking at myself in the mirror here, take it easy. Uh, so a, a relatable story that I can, I can explain to you. The past kind of six months, I was doing what I just described. Train five times, have two weeks off. Train five times, have two weeks off. Train five times. So my legend of a Cairo, Luke, he said, Joel, slow down. Stop having such intense workouts and just take it easy and train once or twice a week. So I've been doing that for the past month. I've been training twice a week. Um, not only does this not put pressure on me from a, a calendar and scheduling perspective, I'm busy, I work full time. I've got a, a 30 month old son and I, I like to be present for him and for my fiance. But it's really taking that pressure off my brain and physically, I um, touch wood, I haven't felt burnt out since taking on uh, Luke's advice and I've been training far more consistently, which is absolutely great. And it also gets to mean I get to see Luke more often because I train in his gym. Alrighty guys, what I'm also trying to do, as you may or may not know, I'm trying to connect our community, our community of warriors. So what I want to do each week, oh sorry, each video, I am going to ask a question, what I'm going to call, it sounds a bit cheesy, but I'm going to call it the community connector question. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask a question every video, I will then pin that question to the top of the comments and I want you all to put your answer in that comment. So we can kind of see where we're all at, where we're all coming from, when our deficits were, where we live, what our backgrounds are, what our, what our likes and dislikes are. So we can start to cultivate a bit of a, a bit of culture and connection and community. Um, and I think it would be a really cool way to kind of see uh, what other people are doing um, around the world in, uh, in the Brain Tumor Warrior kind of realm. So guys, this video's community connected question is, what city are you from? 
Um, I'd love to know. I don't want to know your address. I'm not going to come and stalk you. Where are you from? I'm from Bondi Beach in Australia. Um, and I know many other warriors are from international. A lot of you do watch from Australia as well. So in the pinned comment below, just, just chuck what city you're from. It'd be really cool to, to connect um, and, and see where we're all from and what we're all, what we're all doing uh, in, in our days and what time zones we're in. Because I know my videos can sometimes come out and a lot of the uh, international folk don't get to see them until they wake up the next morning. Alrighty guys, number two. And it kind of relates to the first one. Consistency will always trump intensity and perfection. So what do I mean by that? It's better to do little small sessions more consistently, once, twice, three, four times a week than it is to go out and do the world's best session. It might be the best yoga class, the best rock climb, the best jet skiing, the best weights workout you've ever done and you did it five times in a week and then boom. You hit burnout, you get fatigued, your brain goes, nope, you're shutting down. We've all done this before, guys. We know what it feels like. The fatigue is, is frustrating at times. We do yearn to get back to how we used to be. But for now, we have to be patient. Let's just go for uh, consistency over that perfect or big or endorphin uh, craving workout or, or session. Let's just go small. Let's just go for that consistency. Let's try and get a few weeks of one to three sessions. Um, I'd love to know in the question uh, in the comments below what you guys do for movement. So I try and do weights and go for walks with my son. Um, I know many of you that, that watch, do yoga, do bouldering, do organized sports. Sadly, I'm not an organized, I'm not as far into my journey as you are. I can't do organized sports at the moment because my balance is way off. So if I went to play like football, soccer, basketball, I, I just get bumped over and fall to the ground, which is fine. Uh, we're all on our own journeys. So guys, the third thing, design a routine that actually fits your goals, but also your new fatigue levels and, and how your brain actually wants you to uh, to progress. So what I like doing on my, my work calendar on my computer, I will schedule not only the times and the days where I'm going to go for a workout, but I also schedule days and times where I have rest. Rest is so important. And speaking from someone who not only has a brain trauma, but also has a 13 month old son and, and quite sleepless nights, you need to schedule timing for rest. So rest can look like many different things. It could be literally sitting on the lounge watching your favorite TV show, Game of Thrones, June Prophecy, House of the Dragon, just to list some of mine, Breaking Bad. But it could be reading a book, laying in the sun, just vibing out and listening to music for half an hour. You will know what in your life is high intensity and what is rest. And let's start scheduling both our high intensity stuff to, to improve and adapt and get our coordination back. But let's also schedule that rest rest period as well, guys. So there are my three, uh, three topics today on designing a routine. It's all about starting small, building consistency, and lock it in, into a calendar. And that sums up routine. Um, guys, if anyone's out there with an impending surgery, an impending, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Brain freeze, I'm sure you can all, uh, can all attest to that. Uh, a surgery or a procedure coming up, and if you're expecting some good results, I wish you nothing but the best, sending positive vibes and thoughts, and I hope it's all, all rosy and, and, and good news. So guys, Warriors, until the next one, peace.